Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a speed effect like this in Affinity Photo. Now you see, when you are capturing a fast moving object, your camera moves following the object. And therefore, the object doesn't blur, but the background does. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay, all the photos that I'll be using in this video are from Asplash. If you want to download it and follow along with me from the start, you know where to go. Just click on the link in the description. Okay, so with any further ado, let's jump into a finished photo and get started. Okay, so this is the photo that I'm going to use as an example, and we're going to make this car looks like it's moving really fast. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is to duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. And I'm going to make it into three layer, and then this one is for backup, so you can turn off. Okay, so now we're going to separate the car from the background. Okay, so this one, the third layer is car layer. And we're going to use selection tool to remove the car from the background. I'm going to use freehand selection tool. You can use whatever tool that you want to use. Okay, and after we have done with the selection, mask this layer to remove the background from the car. And then select the second layer, which is the background layer. Okay, and now we're going to remove the car from the background by going to edit and in pen. Okay, and the car removal doesn't need to be smooth, okay, because we're going to make it blur later okay so this will do and after that i will make this canvas larger so i will go to document and resize canvas and i'll just extend the width okay and then i'm going to select the transparent area using selection tool and i will extend the selection go to select and grow or strict Okay, I will extend the selection a little bit, just 5 pixel. Okay, and it will do. So, I will leave no gap between the transparent area. After that, I will fill the transparent area by going to edit and in pen like before. Okay, after that, you can make the car visible again and make sure the background is selected then we're going to add the most simpler effect to the background so go to layer new light filter blur and most simpler okay i apply light filter so that i can always change the value later if i want okay so right here set the radius to 100 pixel and if you see some transparent area on the edges of the photo just click preserve alpha okay and it's done so i just need to fix some area here okay so i will remove the shadow right here using stamp tool all right and we're almost done so why did i separate the car from the background because if i don't separate it and i apply the most simpler effect Okay, so let me show you what will happen. As you can see, if you zoom in, you will see some ghosting effect around the car. So it won't look good. That's why I separate it. Okay, and as you can see, now it looks better. And then because the car is moving really fast right now, so the wheel should be blur as well. So I will apply most similar effect as well to the car layer and for the wheel i will just set the radius to around 40 and press ctrl i to invert then i will use brush tool and pan over the wheel to apply the blur effect make sure the foreground color is white okay then this side as well 
okay and this is the result as you can see now it looks like this car is moving really fast okay so we're basically done but you can add something to make it looks even more better so i will use pen tool and add some line okay so i will set the fill to no color and stroke to white color and set the width to around 8 pixel okay so you can add some line right here to make this like effect and I will also set the pressure like this so it will looks like the line is fading away as you can see let me zoom in so it looks like the line is fading away okay and you can also add other glow to make it looks more glowing okay and then i will duplicate it and put it somewhere right here and you can also change the color to whatever color you like Okay, so this is the final result and that was how to create a speed effect in a finished photo. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up.